All right, so uh, Renode, it's an open source simulation framework, but I really liked Philip's uh, presentation, so let's say Renode is what makes simulation fun. Um, and it's a simulator that does a lot of things. First of all, it does risk five, see if you use vectors, custom instructions, you name it. Uh, it also does ARM, and actually we literally do ARM now, A, R, and M in the Cortex instruction set. Uh, we do hundreds of real boards. Uh, we have also fake made up boards if you want, uh, you probably want. Uh, we do Open Titan. we actually support a lot of Open Titan peripherals. Uh, we can do multi-node systems, we have determinism, and we can consume this very later or other stuff if you really want to. Uh, we have this dashboard that uh, describes uh, lots and lots of boards, and we can actually run 280 real existing boards in simulation across a number of binaries. We just take data from Zephyr, parse it through a uh, device tree to REPL generator, and run it in Renode, and there you go. You can actually download the binaries and uh, all the test files and everything and run it yourself. It's a really great reproducible CI. Uh, as I said, we have support for Cortex-A, 64-bit, Cortex R, both 32 and 64 bit. And generally speaking, we have uh, the capability to simulate heterogeneous systems like, for example, Dark Scale Plus, both the big and little cores, and perhaps a Risk v in your FPGA. Uh, we support Open Titan, as I said, most of the peripherals. We're working with a, a Google team on an AI chip that they're going to open source soon, so look out for the announcement. Uh, Reno is also used by a lot of high profile use cases. One of them is uh, EC testing within the Chromebook. So if you have a Chromebook, Part of it is probably being tested by Renault. You can read about it on the Renault blog. Uh, sorry, Renault blog as well, but Google blog. Uh, we support stuff like, uh, since recently, this is kind of recent updates, uh, we support things like trace-based models, which allows you to not only just simulate on a functional level, but also take microarchitectural data from uh, whatever you know about your CPU, add it on top of the data you know from the functional simulator, and then, of course, you can get pretty decent information about the performance of your solution and, and how things are gonna transpire. Uh, that's the flow, of course, it's all open source, so you can take a look yourself. Uh, we also have very good support for tracing. If you run your software in Reno, so you can extract a lot of data, put it in Speedscope or Perfetto, and just take a look. Uh, and since recently, we also have customization of DPI, uh, which is great because it's industry standard and you can, of course, use it for very later or other stuff you really want to. Uh, and we have the capability to both simulate peripherals, but also CPUs. Uh, so you can have part of your simulation in Renode, part of it outside of it. I guess that's all. Thank you. <laughs>